So I'll tell you about my work here. So this this series is called 40 Beautiful Women. And so the goal was to, to paint 40 beautiful women. And, and, and so the, the synopsis or what the work is about is what repels and what attracts. And the beauty attracts and the dark, sometimes the unknown, basically the unknown, is for most people, repels. It's sort of like seeing a light at the end or through a, through a room, but the room before it is just completely dark and you don't know anything about that, that room. Or having diamonds on a spider, right? You're like, okay, I don't want that spider's dangerous, but I want, I want those diamonds. What do I do? What do I do? And so, so that's basically what it's about. And so, so the beauty is the is the women, and then the dark shadows, either in the face or the background, is is the unknown. And so, I paint the portrait, and then I distort the portrait. So there's always a before and after. And so when I distort the portrait, the unknown and the beauty come together, and create something new so but it still has that constant pu push and pull beauty and repel attraction and, re and repelling and and so that's that's where I ended up now where I started how I got here let me tell you how I got here so way back in the day about 2007 or 8 before you even born who, who's ever watching I don't know who's watching. I'm just making stuff up. Um, so, so I'm Christian, and someone told me, like, every time I read the Bible, it's like, you get something new from, from a scripture. So I tested that. So I said, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to study the most known scripture in Bible history, John 3.16. So whoever loves... God, uh, I'm gonna say it wrong, so you look it up. <laughs> John three sixteen. <laughs> John three sixteen. Uh, I'm not nervous, but I just can't remember it for some reason. But anyway, so um, so I did that. I did that for seven days. So each day I learned something new. But the first three days or four days, I had planned out what I was gonna study, and the rest of the days I didn't know what I was gonna do. But like. I learned something. I learned something new each each day, and so so there was seven. So that so seven days, seven days study. So at the same time, probably like, probably like a week or a couple weeks later, the work I was doing was was uh, very popular. People really liked my work. Like people actually were buying on a regular basis because before people were like, "Oh, I like your work. I wish I could afford it," and they wouldn't buy anything. This stuff, they're actually buying. So for a half a second, I said, I need to keep this going. But, <laughs> but I was like, wait, that's not why I pay. I'm not paying to just to sell or, get, or be liked. Um, so the other half a second, I said, no, I need to step out of my comfort zone. So I did 10 pieces called Stepping Out of My Comfort Zone. And so with each one of those pieces, I did something different. Something I've never done before in a piece, and, and some of those times, some of those pieces were a combined of things that I didn't do before. So I distorted, sort of the same process. I paint the portrait, and I distort the portrait, and so I did ten pieces. So I challenged myself, and so once I was worked through that series and continued my uh, obliteration, obliteration series or oblit style, which I call, which I coined a phrase. You can use it. You can use it. Oblit, it's a style where you purposely distort something that's usually not distorted. You're obliterating not only the physical, but the idea of what a portrait should be or a painting should be. Um, and so I did a series of 10. So when I came to this series, I said, I want to challenge myself again. And, and this, actually, this, this was like three challenges. One, uh, I was painting women. A lot, of, a lot of the work I did before was mainly men. So I had 80 paintings before. There's probably three women, and one of them was my mom. So, and 
And so I decided to paint women, because every time I painted women, I made them, uh, made them look older. And so I decided to challenge myself and paint women, because I had to, had to be more subtle with the value change, so um, it wouldn't be so sharp, because I usually paint them, they look like a lot older than they, than they, than they are. And so I said, oh, that's not good. So, because it doesn't look like they're who they are if they're 20, 30, 40, 50 years older than what they're, than what they're supposed to look like. So, so that was another challenge. Um, and then also, the second challenge was, this was also part of a, a series I did called my dark series, where the background was all black, like I used a black, and then um, I painted the portrait, on this, painted the portrait, all the shadows were black. So here I exchanged colors instead of black. So each one of them, you know, have blues, greens, yellows. Um, there's a few that are black, but most of them are, are colors. And so it was another challenge to try to use different colors. So like if I'm using a light color, how do I make the light color look dark? Or have um, more of a conceptual dark, like the shadows, using yellow for shadows, or using red for shadows. And so I did that, and so I, I, I feel like I, I, uh, I accomplished that goal. There's like one piece that I made where she looks like, um, she's like uh, 62, but she was 26 at the time. Um, but I didn't fix it. I should have fixed it. I didn't fix it. I just distorted it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? That's the life that we live. Forget about it. So, and so, so I chose 40. So there's 40. Women, because a ten was a challenge for that piece for that series before. So, what if I said if I did forty? Forty is a, a significant number. You know, Moses was in the desert for forty years. Jesus fasted forty days, forty nights. Um, I turned forty five years ago. Doesn't really relate, but still a number forty. But anyway. Um, so I challenged myself, and the reason why I did 40 is because I did 10 black women, 10 white women, 10 um, Asian women, and 10 specifically Mexican women. Um, uh, I did, I wanted to um, have a broad, a broad um, assortment, if you will. It's a terrible word. <laughs> Terrible word, but I'm on the fly here. I should have wrote this speech down, but I didn't. So I'm moving on, and that's just how life is. But I wanted to have uh, different races uh, on purpose because there's not a lot of um, uh, representation, famous representation for minorities in painting. And so, so I wanted to specifically use a lot of minorities in my, in my, in my piece. So, the beauty, so about the, the piece, uh, a little tidbit about the piece, like, so every woman in here, like, I'm physically attracted to. Uh, so they have to be, like, you know, attracted to them. And so that's the beauty for me, that, that pulling in, of course, the darkness is the, uh, is the, um, the shadow area. And so every person in here is someone I know. No, that's always a question. Oh, these people you know, like, you just make it up in your head? No, no, I don't do that. I, it's always someone I know. And so like people from, from church, from work, the neighborhood, college friends, um, high school friends, turn college friends. Um, and so, oh, some of them actually, yeah, some ex-students of mine, um, I teach college, like that. <laughs> I gotta say that. You're like, what grade? They're adults when I meet them, and they're adults when I graduate. So, so make, make sure you know. Yeah, a couple of a couple of uh, students of mine too. And yeah, like I said, people I work with, friends, um, and they knew they knew what I was ever getting into. I didn't like fool anybody. So make sure you you gotta put that in there. Um, you know, people like I don't want to take your picture, and they're like, what? You, what's the concept? That's something that I didn't want to prove. No. But they approved. They knew. They knew. They knew. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's it, I think that's about the, um, 
Yeah, I'm kind of just kind of looking and seeing the work. See the thing else I need to talk about. But I think that's it. That's basically all of it. And that's how it all came came to be. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So come to the show.